And speaking of testing, thanks to federal funding, there's a new COVID testing site up and running at the Alamo Dome. From 7 a.m. until 5 p.m., you can make an appointment or just show up for a test at Lot C. That's right at the corner of Cherry Street and Montana. Our Max Massey gives us an inside look and explains what you can expect there. My son, um, he's at school and he tests positive. So we want to make sure my mom is uh, diabetic. So we just want to make sure she's fine. And go ahead and pull that up for me to swab there. Nadia Trevino and her family were just some of the hundreds of people we saw today taking advantage of this free and fast testing. The last couple years has been confusing dealing with COVID here in our community. But with this new wave, people are once again on edge. We've been at home. Yes, because I have a baby. Well, she's four, but she's still little, so we were kind of nervous about it. In past surges, the city had 13 free testing sites, but now we have over 33 free testing sites, and they're all listed on the city's website. In the past surges, we've seen the highest number of tests done on a daily basis was around 8,500 to 9,000 tests. And swab the inside of each nostril 10 times. Now we are documenting upwards of 11,600 tests per day. And with this huge influx of more testing, if you get your test, you may have to wait longer to find out the results. At this time, it is anywhere from 48 to 72 hours, but we really expect it to go up, up to 96 hours once the number of of tests go up, you know, because of the sheer volume of the test itself. Max Massey, KSAT 12 News.